trying to build your confidence, can't figure it out, I got three magical steps. And they're so doable. You could boost your confidence literally within minutes after watching this training. Lacking motivation? I know what you need. You need some confidence, right? What is this confidence thing? Like how, because you hear people say, oh, I wish I had more confidence. Or maybe they're trying to say courage or hope. But they just, they feel like they, they need something. Like they're lacking something. Like they're low on something. We're, we're gonna call it confidence. But boy, could you put a whole bunch of other words in there. But wouldn't you agree, it's the, you feel low on something. It's kind of like your, your internal gas tank is saying, you're close to empty. <laughs> and when you're close to empty, you don't feel like going and trying things or, or trying to do things or try to finish things. And you might be interpreting that as confidence. So we're gonna call it confidence. And I'm gonna share with you what I do and what I see a lot of other people do to build confidence. And three steps, three steps to be able to build this confidence. And, but it takes all three, not just one, because it touches on different parts of your life that have become disjointed, and that's why you feel low. So you can build your confidence. First step is about you and your self-care. Now, self-care, there's a couple different categories inside self-care. Number one is sleep. You know, when you don't get enough sleep, your confidence levels can drop. Because when you're tired, how are you supposed to feel more confident? There's no way you're gonna feel more confident with less sleep. It just doesn't go together. So if you're somebody with a big, fast schedule and you got a lot of things you're doing, here's a tip for you to be able to get deeper sleep in shorter number of hours of sleep. Because what matters is the deep sleep. Because you could sleep for 10 hours and sleep shallow and you're still tired. It's quality of sleep. So how do you get quality of sleep? Black out everything in your room, every little tiny light, every little corner, black out everything. Pitch, 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 pitch dark. Super pitch dark. Cool the room down. When you cool the room down, the body can heat up because the body needs to heat up to process, digest, heal, do its work while you're sleeping. Because when you're asleep, a whole nother work happens to your body while you sleep. But if you're hot and you're really sleeping hot, you can't, your body doesn't go there that much because it's, ah, this is uncomfortable. So black out the room, cool the room down, and that'll help you get some deep sleep. Extra little thing. Play some calm music without words right before you go to sleep. Just to put your body and mind in harmony so that you can feel all good and flowy and harmonic as you're falling asleep. Because the day's all frazzled and all the things going on for the day. And you know how you lay there and your brain is just spinning on all the things you still have to do? All the things you still have to do are things that are unfinished. And unfinished means fragmented. So when you go to sleep thinking of fragmented thoughts, you, you're not gonna sleep deep. You're gonna sleep fragmented sleep. And then you're gonna wake up feeling fragmented. That's not gonna build confidence. Black out your room, cool it off, turn on some good music. No words, don't, don't fill your head full of words right before you go to sleep. No words, boom. You just start slipping right into that deep sleep. You will feel so good. No sugar three hours before you go to bed. You know what you usually do? You go get some sugar because you're like anxious, trying to calm down the anxious, and now you got sugar in your body. You can't sleep when you got sugar in your body. You're gonna sleep shallow. So cut some sugar out. Give yourself two or three hours ahead of time before you go to bed. Cut out the sugar, and you got it. That's a good step for self-care. Now that's, that's sleep. Next one is care for your body. Get a haircut. Clean up. Get yourself a new little scrubby thing in the shower. The old one is old. It doesn't do the scrubbies that you like. <laughs> you know, just get a, 
You know, if you got a razor and it's kind of old, get a new one, get a new razor. You know, and if you got a bottle of shampoo that you've been using for a long time, switch, get a different fragrance, kind of lighten up the atmosphere of the cleanup you do for yourself. You know, and take care of yourself, clean yourself up, trim your toenails, trim your fingernails, clean out underneath those toenails, really trim yourself up and like take care of yourself like you're something important. So sleep and that self cleaning, super important. Brush your teeth, floss your teeth. You know, people who floss their teeth actually are more confident because they're cleaner. And when you brush your teeth, you're cleaner. When your breath smells good, you feel more confident. So teeth, breath, haircut, you know, good razor, new scrubby thing in the shower to scrub you all over the place to exfoliate all that extra skin. And, and uh, you know how you talk, you like hot showers? You know what you ought to do? Flip that thing to cold for just 20 seconds before you get out. Oh, oh, oh that'll, that'll get you. Woohoo! Get, get some cold water on you and watch what it does to you for the rest of the day. It's crazy. I know it kind of stings, but oh, it feels so good. Just, it, just, it just kind of resets your system there. You, you'll, you'll feel it. You'll, you totally will feel it. Okay, that's self-care. Uh, eating, <laughs> eat trash, eat junk food, you get a junk life. Now, do I love a good container of fries once in a while? Absolutely. But not every day. No. Do I enjoy an Oreo shake? Yeah. But not every day. That stuff drops you. I mean, that stuff, uh, fast food is, mm, you know how they call it junk food? It, it can junk you. Now, yes, you can get good, healthy stuff. Just be smart on what you're doing with the fast process of getting food and eating it for lunchtime. Be super careful, super careful there. Okay, that's self-care. It's gonna boost you already. All right, it's gonna make a difference. It's gonna make a difference. Next one, next one. Your environment, if you don't touch your environment and update your environment, meaning your bedroom, your office, your home, if you don't clean that stuff up, it's gonna take you right back to where you were. So your confidence comes from self-care and your confidence comes from your environment. If you still have the same piles in the same places and you've done self-care, but you have not changed your environment, your environment will take you right back to where you were at. The state of your environment creates a vibration. That vibration then controls the mood of the room. And the mood of the room controls you. It'll control you and it can drop you back to the level you used to be at. So you clean up one stack. You go to one shelf, straighten it up. You clean up one pile on the floor. You don't have to do it all today, but do something to upgrade the vibrational quality of that room. That builds confidence. So you got taking care of yourself and now it's like, okay, my environment's gotta take care of me. Now, if you bring up the story about, well, Kirk, other people are in influencing my environment. Well, you pick your own little corner of the room and that's your part. And if somebody else is messing up the rest of the room, you got your one little spot or your one box under the bed. You find one place that you can manage and control to be clean and organized. Your confidence will go up. <laughs> you just watch what happens. It's so good. It is so good. You literally are one day away from better confidence. One day. Clean yourself up. Clean your environment up. It makes a difference every day. Okay, last one, get outside. You wanna know how to suck the confidence out of you? Sit in front of your computer all day long, every day. That'll just suck the life out of you. I don't care if you're watching a nature movie on your computer, it does not give you that life force that's present in nature. Go for a walk. And if you're in the big city and, and you got buildings everywhere, just go outside. Go outside, find some tree <laughs> and hug it. <laughs> Go hug a tree. Now, I know it's weird to just like wrap your arms around the tree, you know, and hug it. But I, I, when I'm out, I'll grab a hold of the branch. You don't have to fully engage in a hug to be able to get some tree energy, but you can hold on to the branch of the tree. Or if you see a leaf on the ground, pick up the leaf. There is a life force in nature 
that just boosts us as people. Everybody gets some if you go outside. And, and you can be out in the air of outside, but go find a tree or a bush or grass or sand or what else is out there? Or water or rocks. Rocks have a life force. Rocks are not dead. Rock, my house has got tons of rocks around the house. Rocks are powerful. But you're outside in nature just soaking it up. Just soak it up. It's good for us. So good for us. Now, you could be out there, though, and be all in your head about, uh, stuff. You could be all, uh, what's that going to do? When you're out in nature, you're not, uh, you are clear-minded, seeing the tree, touching the tree, looking at the branches of the tree, looking at the trunk of the tree, looking at the bugs crawling up and down the tree, look at the roots of the tree, look at the top of the tree, look at the whole tree, be with the tree. You know, when you have better confidence, you're going to make better decisions. When you have low confidence, ah, you could be missing out on some cool things happening. Your confidence level affects people around you. You got low confidence, you're going to pull your family down. You'll pull your marriage down. You'll pull other people down. You will. So, you don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you got it. But do all three. Don't just be a onesie person like you're just going to do one thing. You don't do that. No, you don't do that. No, you do all three. A little bit of all three of these. You got this. Confidence is yours to have. Okay, it's time. Take some action. Boom, boom, boom. Get a little bit done in each one of these because you can do that right now. Boost your confidence right now. Make better decisions. Really get your life up to the level you love to live in. Confidence means courage. That means you're gonna be so much better off. Hey, and also click subscribe. Click subscribe so you and I can stay connected and I can send you my next training video. Because right now, I'm thinking about you and what I can do to help you. Click subscribe so it's natural that the next video just comes to you. And also, boy, check out the link below here. Always got extras. I've got some extra cool things for you here. But click the link below so I can take you on your next step to really get your life in order. Okay, have fun. Enjoy the confidence boost.